This is my tab that I remodeling here, and I want to concentrate today on the rain here. Okay, you can see how ugly is this rain because it's probably 20 years old. And if you look inside, you can see there is a cross metal. I'm going to point on it, you see here. Okay, these cross metals here uh, have a number of purposes, one of them to block a big object, but the other purpose is to insert the drain to its position and just lock it or to remove this drain out of its location. So today I want to show you how to replace this drain. So sometimes it's very difficult to remove this kind of drain, so you can use WD-40. But I don't think I need it here. I just want to see if I can remove it without WD-40 here, that you can see. So I'm not going to use it now because I don't think it's needed. So there's a couple of tools that you can actually use in order to remove it. But there is one really very good tool that you can buy in Home Depot or Lowe's. That is the tool that you see here. Okay, and you can see you have two sides, one big and one small. This is a small drain, so we probably will use this. But what's nice in that, you have actually, you can see here, one, two, three, four. So you can grab it in the four, as we saw before, we have a four coarse metal there. So we can actually use it nicely and balanced to remove it with no, any issue to just break it or something. So. Let's try to use these kind of tools. I'll show you how to use these tools in order to remove this drain. In addition, these tools come with two holes here. You can see one and two. Okay. What you're doing here, you're putting a, either a rod or some screwdriver and it gives you a leverage either to remove it or to insert it. Okay. Let's give you a huge leverage to remove the drain. So if you have a very difficulty to remove it, use WD-40. Wait maybe a couple of minutes and then try it again, but usually it's worked very nicely 99% of the time. Okay, so now we're going to insert the tools. Remember, there is two places to insert. That's too big. You can go in. But here when you put it, you put it inside. Make sure we grab properly the four metal that you have the end of metal there, the cross metals. Okay, now you put this one in one of the holes. Okay, and now you really want to give it against the clock, remember? Because you want to release it. So you try, push it, push it, and you can see it's starting to move. Try again, it's already released. And really what left is just to get it out. And as you can see how old and how here's the putty here. And we cannot actually save it. This is a, a rusted here on top. That's why I'm going to replace it and put a new one. So let's put the new one. So to replace it, I purchased from Home Depot, it's called Overflow Plate and Touch to Stopper Kit. Okay, so this is the overflow, this is the overflow which I don't really need. Okay, what I really need is this, it's a drain actually, they call it um, a touch, touch to stopper kit, okay. So there is two parts of this drain. It's the first part. I just want to show you what happened here. I push it and it's locked. And here I open it and it's released. When it's locked, actually water cannot insert the drain. When it's released, water are inserting, are going and draining out. Okay, so this is two part here. So I'm going to take the thread, the push thread out. 
Okay, and that's called that's called that's called a shoot thread. It's actually the drain, really. Okay, and if you look at it, you can see here. This is very important. This is a kind of a rubber sealer. Okay, and the rubber sealer is here. The question here is, do we need it? Okay, because this rubber is going to seal um, the pipe that's going to the the bathtub to uh, the tub. Okay, it's the pipe. I want to show you exactly where this rubber should be used. So if you're going to look at the draining here, okay, look carefully what's going on. You see there is a pipe here. That's the pipe. Okay, the water going inside to the pipe here. And if you look here, you can see this is a, the rubber, actually, or a washer. Okay, but what happened here is when you actually lock it, this will go up. Okay, and we actually sealed the pipe. Okay, sealed the pipe here from leaking water outside. You see here, because what happened? This pipe should be attached to the tab button strongly and seal it. So that's why we already have it here. So we don't really need it. So we have to remove it and not use it. Maybe you can actually keep it for some other time. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to remove the unnecessary washer or rubber that is here. Okay. You really don't need it. It's only good for a new installation of a new uh, bathtub. Okay, that's one you can use maybe later, maybe next year or something. Okay. So that's the way it looks. Now we're going to Take this and we put it in, but before we want to clean the drain and I want to show you how I'm installing this drain or they call it a shoot thread to the drain. There is another uh, things here that you can see, this is kind of a thread here from plastic. Okay, you can actually remove it because some of the drain that you will use have a narrow uh, opening, okay? So my drain actually need it, okay? Probably most of the drain in the world will need it. That's a whole drain coming to sides. So my drain need to have this thread, this plastic thread in, okay? So just don't be confused. You can see two thread here. And this thread is only if your draining is small this size. So you don't really need it. But for, for my application, I need this thread. Okay, before you're going to install it, install drain, the first thing you have to clean, and really it's look, it's look clean, but it's not really clean. You're actually using to clean it. I really want to be very, very clean. And I might going to use alcohol also just to make sure that all the dirt is going. I'm actually using a little bit of sanitizer alcohol just to clean everything for sure. Okay, so use the sanitizer, put it, let it dry. and be good to go. So if you look at it from close proximity, you can see how clean here, I clean it with the alcohol and make sure that it's dry also, so there's no any problem here. Okay, and if you look here, you can see the black rubber that we already have it inside. So that's the rubber that actually seal the pipe to the tub. Okay, that we're not going to have any leak here. Okay, this is the putty I'm going to use, okay, to put here around the drain, on the back of the drain, you can see it here. And before you put it, just make sure that this bushing thread is closed until the end, okay. And we can just now can put the putty here. 
So I took a little bit of putty in my hand here, you can see, and I'm just going to roll it like that. Okay, I'm rolling, I'm rolling it until I'm getting a quite, I don't need all of it, but you understand the, the point. Okay, so that's it. I make it some kind of uh, quite big enough and I just want to put it on a drain now. Okay, so just put it here around and you can make sure let's make sure it's overlap here. Okay. And don't be in panic if it's a lot because when you're going to close it, you will see it will actually attach himself and the remain will get out and we can clean it after that. Okay, so that's the way it looks on the back of this flange, I call it a flange or drain. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually put it, insert it here to the drain, okay? And slowly starting to insert it by screw it in. First manually and then I'm going to use the tools. So I'm using these tools again. Just put it in and start inserted. And remember you have to insert it with the clock direction of the clock clockwise. Okay, after you put it and you have resistance, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the lever with the screwdriver here. Okay, so I'm actually using the screwdriver, put it in one of the hole, and started to move it. Okay. You can see already some of the putty getting out here, that's good. Because the remain of the putty, the unnecessary putty will get out, while the necessary putty will seal in the flange to the drain or to the tub. And you really need to close it quite tight. That's it. So we don't need to actually apply huge force, remember. It's enough if you apply quite a bit. And then just remove it. And we really have a new drain here. I'm going to take this thread here, okay, that's the push thread, I'm going to put it in, just to see if we go inside, okay, so it's going inside nicely and I can actually turn off, turn on and turn off, okay, okay, and then the only thing that left is to open the water, on the water and see what's happened. To test our work, what we need to do is to push the push button here and that will not let water drain and open the water. Okay, we close the water now and we just need to wait to see if the water is stay and it's not draining. So as you can see here, no water really is penetrate in the flange, the drain flange. And that's after really five minutes, I don't see any water leak. So our work is successful. Now what we have to do, we just press the push button here just to see if the water can go out and as you can see and you can hear the water uh, draining rapidly to the pipe to the switch pipe as it should No water is left in the tub. That means our work is successful.
thank you for watching this video